This is a mechanical calculator called the Comptometer. It was made by Felt and Tarrant. It's uh, made in America. Although this version, the, this this one has a, a Belgian plate on it because it was sold in Belgium. Its uh, its case is made of uh, metal, uh, it's probably steel, that's been copper plated and then. Uh, painted brown. If you ever see uh, a comptometer that has a shiny copper case you know that they've stripped all the brown paint off. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure if uh, this, this detailing, if the black paint on it is original but uh, yeah you never know. This version has a, a serial number right here. It says J317908. Apparently on these J models the first two digits of the serial number roughly match the year it was made. So this one comes probably from 1931. It has a second serial number here, S1415. That's because this is a, a special model called a super totalizer which it has this extra register at the front. We'll come back to that later. Most normal models, the normal J model sort of ends here and just has one register. Here you have these uh, columns of buttons. This one has 12 columns. The most common versions have 8 columns there are versions with 10, but this one has 12. Apparently uh, there were some special orders as well for versions with even more columns, but 8, 10 and 12 are fairly standard versions of the computometer. Here you see the register. It's currently all zero. And all you have to do is just type a number, say 1, 2, three, four, and it gets added to here. So if I add three, 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 it, it adds it immediately. You'll notice as well that it, it, it'll carry over. So if I add another three, the next digit up increases, as it should. And if you're, if you're finished, you can then pull this lever t towards you and the numbers are zeroed. Older versions of the Comptometer had a, a larger lever that which you had to push back and pull forward. This one is much, much lighter. You can do it with your pinky if you like. So you don't even have to move your hand off the keyboard. You can just do it straight away. A nice feature is that once it's been zeroed, you'll notice that all the zeros are slightly out of alignment, slightly lower than they should be. That's deliberate. That, that way, you, as soon as you see some numbers uh, out of alignment, you know that it's all zero. You don't even have to check every number. Furthermore, if you next press uh, any key, you'll hear a bell. And also, that key press is heavier, it feels heavier than it would otherwise. That way the operator of the machine would know immediately uh, that it really was zero at the start because apparently it was a common mistake to forget to zero the, the register before you start work so then you'd accidentally get the wrong numbers out. A very important feature of this machine is that you can press multiple buttons at the same time. So let me just clear this. Earlier I did 1234. You can press all four buttons 
at the same time and it'll uh, do it, add it all together. Interestingly, if you um, if you look at the uh, the carries for this, if I I'm going to press the six button now, so that what happens is if I when I release it very slowly, you'll see that the carry happens. Let me do this again. So let me just press seven, and you'll see it happens exactly when the first digit goes from 9 to 0, that one increases by 1. However, if you, uh, if you use multiple buttons, you might have a press, press a button in both these columns, and if I now release the, the first column, you'll see that the carry doesn't happen, because it, it's, it's being delayed until I release this one. That way you can be sure that the carry will happen and it's not getting lost by the changes caused by the other keys. Let me just do do something quite fun. Let me just press all the nines. So now I have nine 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 nine. And if I now add the one, you see the carry happens automatically all the way to the top. Another very interesting feature of this machine is the uh, error detection. There's a little red button at the back and what that's, I'll show you what that does. If, if you accidentally, uh, if you press a button but don't press it far enough before you release it, you'll see that it doesn't actually register. But it, if you're pressing a lot of buttons at the same time you might have yeah, made a mistake and yeah, that would be a disaster if if that happens. You'll get the wrong result. So internally there's a mechanism that uh, recognizes when that has happened and now all the other columns are locked. They don't they don't work. None of the buttons push down. Only the 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 one column that you haven't completed properly is is available. So if you now actually push the button properly you can now still register the correct digit there and to un to unlock these extra yeah these other columns you just press this and now it works is back to normal so all these columns now work there's a row of little metal levers here and these are to do with subtraction Subtraction is a bit awkward on on these machines. For example, but it, it, yeah, for example, if you have a number, in this case 456, and you want to subtract one, well, what you do is you add 999, as it were, because what that does is the same as adding a thousand and subtracting one, and yeah, then on these digits you'll have subtracted one and you just ignore that extra thousand that you've got. Well, to actually ignore that extra thousand, that's what these these uh, little levers are for. They, uh, they block a carry from one digit to the other. So if in this situation I hold down this lever and add 999, you'll get 455, and this one hasn't hasn't carried over. So that's how subtraction works. Yeah, and that's why th these little digits here are used. So to subtract a number, you have to type it with these little digits. And uh, yeah, and, and then make sure that it's not carried over uh, all the way to the end. It's a bit complicated, but uh, so I won't go into it further. Now we get to this uh, totalizer. So if you have a number in the register, you can add it to this totalizer by twisting this this lever. The number gets copied. This 
register gets back to zero. As we can see, it's they're, they're out of alignment again, so that the next number will trigger the bell. And then you can uh, add it again, and so on. Each time the number gets added. And on this side there's an o another small lever, and if you pull that, they, uh, yeah, the totalizer gets zeroed. Here you see a, a row of small buttons. These are uh, lines, so you can cover up any digits you don't want. So that if you know your your answer is always going to be five digits or less, you can yeah cover up all of these, making it easier to read off the number without getting confused with all these leading zeros. And these uh, these uh, buttons sort of uh, tilt when you uh, to to lock them. So you press it down and you tilt it forwards and it locks, and you push it tilt it backwards to unlock it again. There you go. That was the Compatometer, the Super Totalizer uh, model. Thank you very much.